Hey guys, over the last couple of years we've received many questions from people asking about images that they've seen of girls from Japan standing pigeon-toed. And we sort of avoided this topic, we didn't really want to get into it, but we do get asked it a lot, so it was sort of inevitable that we had to cover it sooner or later. So, we've done a bit of research on the topic, and it seems that in Japan there is a term that's used. So in English we say pigeon toed for people whose toes are turned in, but in Japan they have a, a phrase for that. They also have a phrase for people who walk with their feet turned out, and they also have a phrase for people who walk with their feet parallel. <laughs> so walk or stand, right, for that for those different postures. So feet turned in or toes turned in, toes turned out, and feet parallel. So there's one with the feet turned out there. So we did a bit of research on it. We were we were curious to find out if the pigeon toed thing was a result of fashion or if it was just a result of natural posture because I'm sure that people around the world fit into one of those three categories. You know, we could go to any country in the world and look at people's posture and the way they walk and the way they stand and no doubt everybody would fit into into one of the three categories. Toes turned in, toes turned out or parallel. So we were curious about the, the pigeon toad, about the toes turned in. We were curious to see if if girls were consciously doing it as a result of fashion or if it was just a natural body thing based on leg shape or, or the way people walk or whatever. So it does seem to be a combination. It seems to be that people do seem to have a natural walk. Naturally enough, this isn't surprising to anybody, is it, that people have a natural walk that either goes you know, toes out, toes in, or parallel. Uh, but it does seem that there is a little bit of a fashion effect as far as it's seen as being very cute. It's seen that the toes turned in thing is very cute and girls walking like that. And it is possible that we saw sometimes when they're walking long distances, they just walk normally, parallel feet, but short distances, so inside in particular, inside buildings and and over short distances, quite often they would walk with their feet turned in, their toes turned in. So we came to the conclusion that most of it, most of it as far as walking is concerned, is just a natural thing. But occasionally the fashion aspect does play a role if people are watching or if it's in a, a small area or you know, sort of self-conscious for any reason. And then we found that particularly with photographs, it was almost 100% fashion. So in the same way that we showed you once before about the peace sign, uh, when we take photos that, that quite often uh, Japanese girls do the peace sign. Guys too. Uh, we're just talking about girls in this case because it seems to, the fashion seems to affect the girls more than the guys. And as soon as you pull out a camera and say, I'm going to take a photo, the toes go, the fingers go up and the toes go in. So definitely as far as taking photos is concerned, it seems to be more related to fashion than anything else. It's just considered more cute. In Japanese fashion, it's considered more cute and more sort of sweet and innocent. Um, standing with your feet open, like your toes open, would be seen as a little bit sort of crass, I guess. Whereas this is sort of seen as all cute and innocent. So, Anyway, we finally covered it. There you go. There's the pigeon toad story. <laughs> we don't have to talk about it anymore. <laughs> More videos coming soon.